So in this example, we want to maximize revenue. So it says the unit price of an item affects its supply and demand. That is, if the unit price goes up, the demand for the item will usually decrease. So as things get more expensive, people don't want to buy it so much. Okay, for example, a local newspaper currently has 84,000 subscribers at a quarterly charge of $30. Market research has suggested that if the owners raise the price to $32, they would lose 5,000 subscribers. Now, that gives us an idea of what's going on. We're talking about price and subscribers. And how many subscribers we have are based on, is based on the price that we're charging, if we're the newspaper people. Okay, so that's this relationship that we want to establish. We have two ordered pairs. You could think of it as a graph like this. Um, when we were charging $30, we had um, 84,000 subscribers. So there's a point. But when we charged $32, that was going to go down by 5,000. So it was going to go down to, what, 79,000? And that would be another point, OK? So think about that for just a minute. Um, that's what that information was saying. Assuming that subscriptions are linearly related to the price. So here we have price. Here we have subscriptions. And they're saying this is a linear relationship. Okay? Because it's linear and we have two points, we can find the equation of that line. So let's talk about the slope as being, um, let's see, uh, 79,000 minus 84,000 over $32 minus $30. So that's going to be negative 5,000 over 2, or negative 2,500. Um, and this makes sense because we know as the price goes up, the subscriptions are going down. So this is a decreasing line. OK, so we want to keep that in mind. And then we want to finish off by finding the equation. So, you know, my points had been 30, 84,000. And the other point was 32, 79,000. And that's what I'm using to do this. OK, so if you think about the point-slope formula we have, and plug that in, I'm probably going to need more room. All right, ah, lost my point. Well, I remember what it was. So we had y minus, um, <laughs> I remember what it was, 84,000 equals negative 2,500 times x minus um, 30, 30. There we go. All right, so we work our equation. And then we get this equation y equals negative 2,500x plus uh, 159,000, okay? So apparently, if we offered it for free, we'd have 159,000 subscribers. Okay, so remember, this is my um, output subscribers, and it's based on my input, uh, the price. So that's really important to remember to help you keep your ideas straight here. OK, now they want us to maximize revenue. Well, how do you figure out revenue? Revenue is going to equal the number of subscribers times what we're charging them times the price. OK, now um, we're trying to find the price. So we need this in terms of price, which I have established as x. And how? why can I say that? It's right over here. I said, well, x was my price, 
and Y was my subscribers. I probably should have used P for price and S for subscribers, but I didn't. Okay, so now we can say the revenue based on the price is going to equal the number of subscribers. Well, what's the number of subscribers? <laughs> it's the Y. So it's this part right here. So that's negative 2,500 X plus 159,000 times the price, and the price is X. Oh, you know what? I made it a P, and I should have, should have had that be an X. That's what I get for not using the letters. Oh, ah, I just did it again. Okay, so this is revenue based on X, and X is representing the price. Okay? All right, so if I multiply that out, I'm going to get the revenue to be negative 2,500x squared plus 159,000x. Now, that is quadratic. So we can find, we want to maximize, so we can find the vertex. So we're going to say that um, the vertex is going to occur at uh, h equals <laughs> um, the opposite of b over 2a. So for us, h, you know, you want to think of it as h in the standard form, or think of it as the vertex, it's going to be the opposite of 159,000 over 2 times negative 2,500. And that works out to be um, 31.8, if I'm remembering right. So I checked it with my calculator. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so this tells us then the price. Do we want to know um, how much money we're going to make? It says, what price should, be, should the newspaper charge? to maximize their revenue. No, they don't care how much money we're making. So the price we should charge, price should be $31.80. Now, you could figure it out, like how many subscribers that is and how much money um, you would make. You'd have to plug it into your formula. So R of 31.80, you know, that would eat, that would represent um, re the the most money we could make. I think they figure that out in the book, but the question doesn't ask it. The question just says what price should we charge, and there it is.